Okay, this may be my last video on this uh, regulator for the Volkswagen uh, uh, fuel gauges. I've got a, a regulator here, and uh, the way I wired it up is this would be the lead right here that would go hook to your ignition switch wire that comes up that you would normally hook up to the vibrator or the regulator. And I, the color, color is not, you know, black. I've got red for hot. So in there, this wire, I put a Pico fuse right here, and it's a real small amperage fuse. And uh, it looks like that. You can get them at Amazon. It's a half amp. And then you just get the proper connectors, uh, spade lugs, strip it back, solder it together, and you've got it. And so this is the out. This lead would go to the gauge, and that lead would go to the speedo ground where uh, uh, you would ground the uh, sending unit also. Don't need two grounds, although there is a, a spot for a ground on the input here. Okay, I'm going to pause a second. Okay, I've got a different type of regulator that I found on Amazon. It's really good. I like it a lot. It's waterproof, and it does have the adjustment for setting the voltage on the bottom side. It's right there. Okay, and it comes with wires already attached to it, uh, but I went ahead and trimmed them off and put my wires on. Again, uh, here's the... Uh, uh, little fuse link or pico fuse right there this is the lead that would hook up to your ignition power wire and then this would be the ground that would go to the speedo and this would be the lead that goes to your vi your gauge where the vibrator or uh, regulator would normally hook up to and that's it the thing you have to do and I make I stress this Again, is what, if you do this, you've got to hook these two leads up to a 12-volt source and measure the output here and set it up for 6.4 volts or something close to that. And then you can do the final adjustment later on with your gauge if you want. And uh, you would set it 5.1 if you had the OEM gauge and uh, 6.4 for the aftermarket. And again, there's the Pico fuse and what I, the way I built it, just heat shrink. All right, all right, that kind of concludes and I might be done with this project. Uh, and I hope that this works out for all of you that want a solution to your gauge issue. Thanks.